Alrighty, I am going to try a different format here where I just basically show you what you need to know to get this working and then at the end I will explain why it works. So let's jump into it. We've got some code here in the Paper Rock Scissors app, code.org, unit 7, lesson 4, Rock Paper Scissors app. Um, a lot's done for us. We're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, boom. Okay, so the first code we're going to edit here is under the find icon function icon name being the parameter. All right, so what we need to do is assign the appropriate icon based on whatever the icon name is. So we are going to throw in an if else, and we are going to throw that in there as well. Alrighty, so we are going to say if the icon name is rock, all right, we're going to return icon at zero. That is a reference to the index there for the icons. Okay, so rock is zero, paper is one, scissors would be two. So you can see where we're going with this. All right, else if icon name is paper. We are going to return from the icons list index one, which is the image of paper. Else, if it's not rock, it's not paper, guess what? It's scissors. Uh, we are going to return from the icons list the item stored at index two, which is the image of the scissors. Um, and I have a typo there. No, icon, icon. Okay, let's run, and now we should be able to click and our user image changes. And that's all it should do at this moment. Okay, last thing we have to do. All right, down here, um, actually a couple things. Uh, this one's really quick, random choose. We want the computer to choose a random item from the choices list. List is our parameter. There are three items in the index, or in the, the three indices, so zero, one, two. We are going to throw in a random number right there and tell it to go from zero to two. And when we run, we should now see a random choice for our computer. The first few times it was the same, but if you notice, all right, it's getting something different. All right, again, kind of crazy there. We're getting the same almost every time. There we go, we got a rock, we got scissors, we got scissors and scissors. All right, so you can see it does change. Okay, um, last thing we need to do is fix our decide winner. There is a little bit of a trick to this. Uh, there's one that's going to be a little bit uh, messy, but to avoid having to do two messy control structures, we are going to do an if else, and we're going to click that little plus button to add an else if. All right, the first thing we're going to check, okay, if our player choice is the same as the computer choice, we know that means it is a draw. Okay, this is case sensitive, it's a string, so be very careful. Now we're gonna return draw, boom. Okay, now we're gonna go through here. We have to use some logic to state the option of any case where the player could win. So that means we need to start with some or operators, all right? But there are three instances where a player can win, so just this or means we need another one. So we're gonna drag out another or operator and put it right there. Okay, now in order for this to evaluate to true for the player to win, two things have to happen. We're gonna start with rock, so we need an and operator because the and we'll throw out this double equality operator as well. All right, and I need that on either side of the and. Both of these things have to be true for the player to win. The player choice needs to be rock, and the computer choice, although it was random, all right, it needs to be scissors. All right, because as we all know, rock breaks scissors. So what we're saying right now, if the player choice is rock, and the computer choice is scissors, that evaluates to true. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring our return in there. We're gonna return player. 
All right, and it's given to us up there. All right, we're not done yet, okay? Now we need to look at the next case, okay? Rock, paper, scissors, so this next spot right here, we need two things to be true here, okay? So if the player didn't choose rock and or the computer, well, player didn't choose rock and the computer didn't choose scissors, if both of those things are not true, we're gonna slide down here and say okay. Well, what if, all right, and again, this is where it gets a little messy, so sliding over, feel free to, may want to pause your screens a little bit and this is where text mode is easier but it's also easier to get lost so I'm trying my best to use the blocks okay so now we're gonna say okay player choice paper and paper covers rock so that means computer choice was rock okay and I know you can't see what I type so let me slide over okay that's our next one so if both of these things are true the player would win all right lastly we need one more double and because we need to say what happens how could the player win if the player has chosen scissors all right we're gonna again need the double equal signs or the equality operator as it is properly called. All right, so we're gonna start with the player choice being scissors and scissors cuts paper. So the computer choice, and I think I had a typo, okay. Computer choice is paper. Alrighty, and we, are almost done. The last else would be if it's not a draw, if none of these scenarios are the case, then that means we return computer because the only other options would be that the computer has won. Alrighty, let's run and we're gonna test it out. All right, I'm picking rock. All right, rock breaks scissors. I'm picking paper. Paper covers rock. I'm picking scissors. Scissors cuts paper. I'm on a roll. Alrighty. Draw, so draw is possible, computer wins. So we've seen different things happen, we've seen different outcomes. It all works, we are good to go.